Here in Photoshop, first drag and drop background layer on plus icon to make it duplicate, then rename it as blemishes. Because we remove all the blemishes from the skin first. Zoom out. Now take a spot healing brush tool and just paint to remove all of them. Now I am going to fast forward this process. Take a look at this before and after. All the blemishes are gone. Now duplicate the blemish layer and rename it as low frequency. Make another copy of it and rename it as high frequency. Then select low frequency layer and go to filter, biller, gaussian biller and set the radius from 2 to 3 and click OK. Now select high frequency layer and go to image, apply image. In layer select low frequency layer, set the blend mode to add. Check invert and click ok. Then change the blend mode to linear light. Select low frequency layer and take mixer brush tool. Make sure you have to select clean brush after each stroke and set the wet value around 10 to 12. Rest of the values are same as here. Ok, now it's time to paint all over the skin. Just do it gradually. Now I am going to fast forward this process because it will take a lot of time. Let's see before and after. It looks good. Zoom out a little bit. Here you can see some dark areas. So we retouch this with global dodge technique. First create new gray solid color layer. And change the blend mode to color. This will create a gray mask filter. Now create a new curves adjustment layer. Then make a point on the area which is dark. Just pull the point upward. Go to layers. Press Ctrl plus I to invert layer mask. Then take normal brush. Set the flow at 7% and opacity at around 15%. Now just paint on it gradually. Believe me, this will make a huge difference in your photo. Hide the grey mask filter layer. Here you can see before and after. Now we add some highlights in the eyes. So zoom out and create another curves adjustment layer. Make a point on the line and pull it upward. 
go to layers press ctrl plus i to invert the layer mask increase the opacity and flow at 100% then just paint the eyes right click on it blending options drag the slider to the right side hold alt and drag again to break the slider click ok have a look at this before and after reduce the fill value now it looks fine now we remove the extra blue color from the eyes so create a new hue saturation adjustment layer select the blue color and reduce the saturation also select cyan's color and reduce the saturation again go to layers press ctrl plus i to invert layer mask then just paint in the eyes now it's time to fix the skin tone color so create a new selective color adjustment layer select yellow color and adjust the values accordingly go to layers press b for brush then press x to switch the foreground color to black just paint to remove the color from the hairs if you want to add some more details in your photo so just duplicate the high frequency layer now you can see the details has increased let's see before and after okay group all the layers Take a look at this before and after result. Looks great. Now you all can retouch a photo like this. I hope you enjoyed this video so give a like, comment, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you again.